Hey guys, this is Nikita Sivakumar and today we're going to be talking about what is active transport and passive trans transport. So all of these um all of this is all just relating back to diffusion and the movement of particles um in order for equilibrium. However, the um active and passive transport is more of just the movement of particles, the two different types of moving of particles. So Let's go ahead and start off by talking about passive transport, which um, um, which is actually quite similar to diffusion. And as usual, we're going to start off, start off by talking about the basic dictionary definition. So passive transport, it is the diffusion of particles through the proteins in the cell membrane from obviously high to low concentration because it's diffusion. And obviously, there's going to be no energy required because, of course, diffusion. So whenever you see diffusion mention the name, you're all you're gonna know it's high to low concentration and no energy is required. And so, um, so so from this definition, you should have realized that diffusion is a type of passive transport. But um, passive transport is not necessarily done for equilibrium. It's just done to move particles in and outside of the cell. Um, so let's say you needed to there was a nutrient that need to that needed to come in and um and the nutrients just so happened to be in higher concentration all of and you want to move in these nutrients you can do that and it's going to be and there will be no energy and it will be through a protein and it will all be through proteins in the cell membrane so that's a that's kind of a crude drawing of um, passive transport, but if you want a more um, in-depth explanation and um, example of it, please watch my diffusion video where I did provide like a few examples on diffusion and the moving of molecules from high to low concentration. So next let's go ahead and discuss the basic dictionary definition of active transport. So and that is the movement of particles through proteins in the cell membrane against the direction of dif diffusion, or in other words, low to high concentration. So that right here, low to high concentration against the direction of diffusion. And this requires energy because it is from low to high concentration. And um, for slang, you say must open the protein doors because it's going through proteins and um in a cell membrane and the protein must open up it like it will go from let's say this was the protein it's going to go to this like a opened up protein and it lets the molecule go in so um so that's pretty much what active transport is and this opening of the protein doors is, is requires energy and so obviously this this is the opposite of diffusion it's against diffusion so let me go ahead and provide an example of active transport. So let's say there's a cell here and there's the protein and there are molecules. Molecules over here, protein over here, and some more molecules over here. So you want, so um, let's say these molecules are very important and they need to enter the cell. So what, what's going to happen? So let me go ahead and redraw this um, picture. So as you can see. So what's going to happen is the this protein is going to open up so let me just erase the thing and just switch colors to green and okay and it's just going to open up and it's going to look something like um something like that and then it's going to allow and then also it's going to sort of open up around here and then it will let these and then this opening will allow these nutrients to come in so that's pretty much what active transport is. It's just um, it's just like moving large particles from area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, but obviously you can see the amount of molecules outside of the cell was much smaller than what was inside. And so it's pretty much against diffusion. It's going to require energy, and it's going to require that protein through which the um, nutrients are moving through open and let it come in. So that's what active and passive transport is. Uh, um, passive transport is pretty much uh, along the same lines as diffusion, and active transport is the opposite of diffusion. Um, 
So thanks you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. And um, thank you. Bye-bye.